Welcome into the In the Money podcast for Sunday, October 21st. Tom Leach along with Jim Goodman as we take a look at the Sunday card, which features the grade two Rude and Riddle Dowager stakes for Phillies and Mayors three and up going a mile and a half on the turf. We'll also give you a late pick four ticket to consider, but let's look at the Dowager, Jim. I think I said grade two, it's grade three. And uh, this is a well-matched bunch, pretty good sized field. Uh, where did you land in here? Tough to land anywhere here. I thought it was a really well-matched field. So when we get to pick four, I'm, I'm not going to cut back here at all. Um, I landed on Res Ispa as my pick uh, based on mostly back class. And I just thought that um, uh, that she, that, that race at Rams, that the Ramsey Farm race at Kentucky Downs at a mile and five sixteenths, uh, even though she hasn't been a mile and a half, that set her up well. Running a mile and five sixteenths at at Kentucky Downs is probably like running a mile and a half on a flat ground. So um, I think that race sets her up well. Got a lot of back classes, run well in grade twos and grade threes, and uh, was really good this time last year and won an allowance race here on this turf course. So I think that uh, Res Ispa is my pick here. Not a very firm pick. I think Viva Vegas, the one horse, that last race at Monmouth, I don't know how good those races are. Alicia's World is pretty good. So she lost to, to Lisa's World by three quarters of length. Uh, that sets her up well for this race as well, and uh, got the inside post, got some speed. So I think FIFA Vegas is a big threat. And I think the the last horse I went with is Vexatious uh, from the Ten Hole for Neil Drysdale, shipping in from the Northern Dancer at Woodbine. Uh, ran well at Woodbine, uh, or went ran well at Delmar before that at a mile and three eighths. Stretched out a mile and a half. Northern Dancer was never a threat to Johnny Bear, but. Uh, got the distance okay, and Neil Drysdale ships in here with a lot of live horses. That's my top three, and rest is, but is my uh, very, very, very lukewarm pick in the Root and Riddle. I ended up uh, taking a shot with Daring Duchess in here. Uh, the uh, race at Woodbine back on the 11th of August was really nice effort. Um, got a 91 buyer in there, and I think something uh, around that level would, would be awfully tough in here. Uh, Jose Ortiz has had good success with her in the past. And it's the only horse in the race that's actually won at a mile and a half, which I thought was a, a noteworthy point. So on that angle and, and just the fact that on her best day, she would, I think, fit with this group. I'm going to try Daring Duchess in here. I think she can be up close, which will help. Uh, Viva, Vavis, Viga, Viva Vegas was my second pick. Uh, seems to be steadily improving and been running well against some good competition. I used uh, English Affair third. The race two back on uh, August 5th, an 88 buyer, uh, looks would look strong in here. The pedigree's there for a mile and a half. We talked to Rusty Arnold for the Today at Keeneland show, and he said they've been wanting to run her uh, this marathon distance. So uh, I used that one, um, but uh, I'm going to include Vexatious in my pick four ticket as well. So I don't have a, a, a strong opinion here like you. Uh, let's go to the pick four, which starts in the sixth race with a turf sprint for Phillies and Mares. My win pick is Nootka Sound, but she was also entered in the uh, Grade 2 Lexus Raven run on Saturday, and as we tape this, the scratches have not come in for that. So if she stays in the Raven run, obviously she scratches out of here. But if she runs in this spot, uh, I think she'd be awfully tough coming off the layoff. Wesley Ward's outstanding in turf sprints, and she's a Grade 3 stakes winner. But uh, I'm also going to use excessive spending. That 93 buyer in her last race would look really good here, and I like the switch to Le Peru, who really excels in these turf sprints at Keeneland. Goldberry has good speed and appears to be in peak form, has a good post position from the three-hole. And then the uh, six, Miss O'Hara for Rusty Arnold. I'm going to add that one in as well. Going four deep in the seventh race, uh, I, not a strong opinion here. I picked Toasted on top, but uh, Milady Curlin, a uh, horse came out of her last race to win yesterday, so... Uh, this horse is two for two for Cox. Uh, stretch out's a question, but by Curlin. So I think that one uh, probably moved up a little bit after the results of, of yesterday. Fuerza, the five, CS in charge. I'm going to use those two as well. Uh, then uh, I'm going to use the four I mentioned in the Dowager. The last leg, I like the 11 in there a good bit. She read my text. The uh, 78 buyer in her last uh, one for fun. The trainer's 28%. Winning last time out, and uh, Dane Kabiski's won, you know, won races here before. And uh, Mohica's ridden well here in limited opportunities. Had a winner earlier this week. So I like she read my texts a lot. I'm going to use Patty's notes, who's won four in a row, and just going to stick with those two in the last leg. So 
I end up with a sixty-four dollar ticket, two three five six with one three four five with one two five ten with four eleven. How about you? We have a uh, similar ticket. Uh, I love the two three five in the first leg. Nuka Sound again is my pick as well. If, if she runs in the uh, uh, in this race rather than the uh, the Grade Two on on Saturday, I also use Goldberry and excessive spending. So I'm going I'm going two three five in that leg. I singled my Lady Curlin in the seventh race. I, that was my strongest opinion of any of the four races. So I'm going to single there and go deep later on. Uh, oh, so terrible the seven um, has a shot in there as well. But my Lady Curlin seems to be the standout in, in that race. So I'm going to single her. In the Rude and Real Dallinger, I'm going to go the all button. I, I don't have a real strong opinion, and I can make a case for about seven of them. So I'm going to go all. And then the last race, I agree with you on Patty's notes, the four horse, and she read my text, the 11. I'm also going to use two, the Grateful Cause has won the last two. And the uh, the other horse I'm going to use in here is uh, is the eight horse, um, Swamp Ruler, has a, uh, has a race over the track, and that's always important. You don't Good see point. a lot of horses come back and, and run uh, at Keeneland in the fall, but this horse got out on October 10th. Didn't run badly, and a ten thousand dollar claimer got beat by three and a quarter, and drops back to seventy five hundred. So I'm gonna use Swamp Ruler in here uh, for Ron Mulcahy, and he's he's been running his horses have been doing well this meet. So that's gonna be my four horses there, uh, the uh, two, four, eight, eleven. So two, three, five with three with all with two, four, eight, eleven is only sixty bucks. Down the home stretch of the fall meet. Uh, next week will be uh, the final four days of the fall meet starting on Wednesday. But good luck on your Sunday wagers. That's it for the End of Money podcast from KeelanSelect.com.